Hey guys, thinking about routing your phone or trying out a custom ROM? Well, before you do anything, you'll need to unlock your bootloader first. But here's the truth, not all Android brands make that process easy. Like Xiaomi, Realme, Oppo and Vivo phones need a different method. So if you're using one of those, this video won't work for you. But don't worry, I'll be covering those brands in separate videos very soon. So yeah, hit that subscribe button and stick around so you don't miss them. In this video, I'll show you how to unlock the bootloader on almost any other Android phone like OnePlus, Pixel, Moto, Nothing and more. If you're using a Samsung or Motorola device, I've already made dedicated videos for those. So make sure to check them out, links are in the description. Alright, enough intro, let's get straight to the point. So, for this guide we're using the Nothing phone, yep, the new CMF phone one, and it's running Android 14. But don't worry, these steps will work on most other Android phones too. Alright, to unlock the bootloader, we need to enable developer options first. So, open the settings app on your phone, scroll down and tap on About Phone. Now look for build number and tap on it 7 times quickly. You'll see a message saying, you are now a developer. Once enabled, go back to the main settings. Click on system, then tap on developer options. Here look for OEM unlocking. This part is super important. If it's not already turned on, go ahead and enable it now. Next, scroll a bit further and enable USB debugging. It's required so your phone can communicate with your computer through ADB commands. Once all settings are done, it's time to connect your phone to your PC using a USB cable. As soon as you plug it in, you'll see a pop-up on your phone asking for USB debugging permission. Just tap on allow to continue. This lets your phone and PC communicate for the next steps. Alright, let's move to the PC screen now. On your PC, download the platform tools from the link in the description and then extract it. Next, click on the address bar at the top, type CMD and press enter. This will open the command prompt directly inside the platform tools folder. Let's start by making sure your phone is connected properly. Open the terminal and type ADB devices, then hit enter. If everything's working correctly, your phone's serial number will show up. If you don't see your phone's serial number, you may need to install the correct device drivers for your phone on your PC. Now that your phone is connected, let's reboot it into fast boot mode. So type this command, ADB reboot bootloader. Your phone will restart and boot into download mode. So just wait for it. Alright, device is now booted into fast boot mode. First type this command. Fast boot devices. This will check if your device is properly connected in fast boot mode. You should see your phone's serial number listed here. Now type this command to unlock the bootloader. Fast boot flashing unlock. Your phone will show a confirmation screen asking to unlock the bootloader. If this command doesn't work on your device, try this one instead. Fast boot OEM unlock. Now some devices use different buttons to unlock bootloader. Make sure to read the instructions on your screen carefully. For the nothing phone, all you have to do is press the volume up button once. Your device will unlock right away. Once done, head back to your PC and type fast boot reboot to restart your phone. Your phone will restart with the bootloader unlocked. After reboot, your phone will ask you to set it up just like a brand new device. So go ahead and complete the setup quickly. Let me fast forward this part. Alright, device is booted successfully. Let's confirm if the bootloader is unlocked. So let me quickly enable developer options again. And yes, as you can see, the bootloader is already unlocked. That means you're now ready to install custom ROMs, root your phone or flash custom recoveries. So that's how you unlock the bootloader on most Android phones, quick and easy. If this video helped, give it a thumbs up and drop a comment if you have any questions. Thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next one.